armadillo, family Dasypodidae, any of various armored mammals found mainly in tropical and subtropical regions of Central and South America. Most of the 20 species inhabit open areas, such as grasslands, but some also live in forests. All armadillos possess a set of plates called the carapace that covers much of the body, including the head and, in most species, the legs and tail. In all but one species the carapace is nearly hairless. The carapace is made of bony transverse bands covered with tough scales that are derived from skin tissue. The three, six, and nine banded armadillos are named for the number of movable bands in their armor. Only one species, the nine banded armadillo, Dasypus novem synctis, is found in the United States. Its range has expanded into several southern states since it was first observed in Texas during the 1800s. Eight banded individuals of this species are common in some regions. Some most armadillo species include the Pichy, Zedius Pichy, a common resident of Argentine Patagonia, and the larger hairy armadillo, Chertifractus villicus, which ranges far into southern Chile. Armadillo, family Dasypodidae, any of various armored mammals, found mainly in tropical and subtropical regions of Central and South America. Most of the 20 species inhabit open areas, such as grasslands, but some also live in forests. All armadillos possess a set of plates called the carapace that covers much of the body, including the head and, in most species, the legs and tail. In all but one species the carapace is nearly hairless. The carapace is made of bony transverse bands covered with tough scales that are derived from skin tissue. The three, six, and nine banded armadillos are named for the number of movable bands in their armor. Only one species, the nine banded armadillo, Dasypus novem synctis, is found in the United States. Its range has expanded into several southern states since it was first observed in Texas during the 1800s. Eight banded individuals of this species are common in some regions. Some most armadillo species include the Pichy, Zedius Pichy, a common resident of Argentine Patagonia, and the larger hairy armadillo, Chertifractus villicus, which ranges far into southern Chile. Armadillos are stout brownish animals with strong curved claws and simple peg like teeth lacking enamel. The size of armadillos varies considerably. Whereas the common nine banded armadillo in the United States measures about 76 centimeters, 30 inches, long, including the tail, the pink fairy armadillo, or lesser picasigo, Clamophora truncatus, of central Argentina, is only about 16 centimeters, 6 inches. In contrast, the endangered giant armadillo, Priodens maximus, can be 1.5 meters, 5 feet long and weigh 30 kilograms, 66 pounds. It lives in the Amazon basin and adjacent grasslands. Armadillos live alone, in pairs, or in small groups. Emerging from their burrows primarily at night, these efficient diggers use their keen sense of smell to locate food. They feed on termites and other insects, along with vegetation, small animals, and insect larvae associated with carrion. Armadillos spend the daylight hours in burrows that can be 6 meters, 20 feet, long, extend 1.5 meters, 5 feet, under the ground, and have up to 12 entrances. Each species digs burrows to accommodate its size and shape, other animals also use them for shelter. Because of their burrowing habits, armadillos are considered pests in many regions. Armadillo meat is eaten in various parts of South America. The common nine-banded armadillo is used in leprosy research because it is naturally susceptible to the disease and because the microbe that causes leprosy does not grow in laboratory culture media. Armadillos are timid. When threatened, they retreat to their burrows or, if caught in the open, draw in their feet so that their armor touches the ground. Three-banded armadillos, tolipates are able to roll into a solid ball as a means of protecting their vulnerable underparts. Once inside a burrow, some species flex their back plates and wedge themselves in so firmly that they are virtually impossible to pull out. The pink fairy armadillo uses a different strategy. 
as its scientific name, C. Drunkatus, suggests, the fairy armadillo is drunkated, the rear of the carapace is vertical, and the animal uses it as a flat plate to plug the entrance, of its burrow. Armadillos also may run away, burrow, or claw at attackers. The nine-banded armadillo leaps vertically when startled. If captured, it reacts by playing dead, either stiffening or relaxing but in either case remaining perfectly still. If this does not result in release, the captive armadillo begins kicking vigorously. When it encounters a body of water, d. Novem cinctus has two options. Since its carapace is so dense that the animal cannot float, the first option is to continue walking through the water while holding its breath. Alternatively, the animal can gulp enough air into its digestive system to make itself buoyant and swim away. Several kinds of sounds are reported to be made by fleeing or otherwise agitated armadillos. The peludos, or hairy armadillos, three, species of genus Chertifractus, make snarling sounds. The muleta, d. hybridus, repeatedly utters a guttural monosyllabic sound similar to the rapid fluttering of a human tongue. Litter size varies from 1 to 12. The common nine-banded armadillo bears young as sets of identical quadruplets that develop in the uterus from a single fertilized egg, a phenomenon called polyembryony. The gestation period is four months in this species, but this does not include a variable delay period of up to several months between the fertilization of the egg and its implantation in the wall of the uterus. Young are born with soft, leathery skin and can walk within a few hours after birth. The lifespan of this species is 12 to 15 years. The 20 armadillo species belong to eight genera, which together, constitute the family Dasypodidae. Dasypodidae is the only family in the mammalian order Singulata of the Magnorda Xenothra, which also includes sloths and anteaters. Scaly anteaters, C. pangolin, appear similar to armadillos, as they are also armored mammals, however, they are not found in the New World and belong to a different mammalian order, Folidota. Extinct relatives of today's, armadillos included a 2-meter, 6.6-foot, 230-kilogram, 500-pound, beast that roamed Florida as recently as 10,000 years ago. It is not certain whether pre-Columbian humans contributed to this armadillo's extinction. A nearly complete skeleton of an even larger species, dating from the Pleistocene epoch, about 2.6 million to 11,700 years ago, was found in Texas. This creature belonged to an extinct, subfamily of armadillos and was nearly the size of a rhinoceros. The extinct glyptodonts were prehistoric and often massive armadillos with a single unjointed carapace. Common name, armadillos scientific name, Dasypodidae type, mammals diet, Omnivore average life span in captivity, 12 to 15 years size, 5 to 59 inches weight, 3 ounces to 120 pounds size relative to a 6 ft man, of the 20 varieties, of armadillo, all but one live in Latin America. The familiar nine-banded armadillo is the only species that includes the United States in its range. Armadillo is a Spanish word meaning little armored one and refers to the bony plates that cover the back, head, legs, and tail of most of these odd-looking creatures. Armadillos are the only living mammals that wear such shells. Closely related to, anteaters and sloths, armadillos generally have a pointy or shovel-shaped snout and small eyes. They vary widely in size and color, from the six-inch long salmon-colored pink fairy armadillo to the five-foot-long, dark brown giant armadillo. Others have black, red, gray, or yellowish coloring. Contrary to popular belief, not all armadillos are able to encase themselves in their shells. In fact, only the three-banded armadillo can, curling its head and back feet and contorting its shell into a hard ball that confounds would-be predators. Habitat and diet armadillos live in temperate and warm habitats, including rainforests, grasslands, and semi-deserts. Because of their low metabolic rate and lack of fat stores, cold is their enemy, and spates of intemperate weather can wipe out whole populations. 
Most species dig burrows and sleep prolifically, up to 16 hours per day, foraging in the early morning and evening for beetles, ants, termites, and other insects. They have very poor eyesight, and utilize their keen sense of smell to hunt. Strong legs and huge front claws are used for digging, and long, sticky tongues for extracting ants and termites from their tunnels. In addition to, bugs, armadillos eat small vertebrates, plants, and some fruit, as well as the occasional carrion meal. Here are 13 fascinating facts you may not know about armadillos. 1. The nine-banded is the only species found in the United States. The nine-banded armadillo, Dasypus novem cinctus, is the only armadillo species that migrated to North America. They were long limited to humid subtropical areas of the United States. Now, armadillos are found as far north as Nebraska and Illinois. Warmer winters caused by climate change may further expand their range. They always give birth to identical young formed from the splitting of a single fertilized egg. Among mammals, this is unique to nine-banded and other Dasypus armadillos. When startled, the animal jumps three four feet straight up. 2. Brazilian Three-banded armadillos are Lazarus species Brazilian three-banded armadillos were believed extinct until 1988.3 since then, researchers have found scattered, small populations. Animals that are wrongly believed extinct are called Lazarus species. This species is listed as vulnerable by the ICAN and is considered endangered by Brazil. The total population is unknown because of the difficulties in accurately counting this nocturnal animal. Much of its habitat is being converted to sugarcane and soybean fields. Poaching is another significant threat to the species. 3. Giant glyptodonts are their extinct kin. Glyptodonts were heavily armored, dinosaur sized, early mammals. In 2016, scientists determined glyptodonts were a subfamily of armadillos that first appeared 35 million years ago. 5. They became extinct around the end of the last ice age while their smaller and more likely armored relatives survived. Humans hunted these Teuton animals for meat. They then created shelters from the bony carapace. 4. They sleep up to 16 hours each day as nocturnal animals. Armadillos perform most activities, foraging, eating, burrowing, mating, at night. During the daylight hours, they spend up to 16 hours sleeping, usually in burrows. Armadillos rarely share their burrows with other armadillos, although they do share them with tortoises, snakes, and rats. When awake, armadillos spend more time foraging than most mammals. Only two marsupials and ground squirrels spend more active time feeding five. They spread leprosy. Armadillos are the only non human animals to spread leprosy, now called Hansen's disease. The bacteria that causes the disease thrives due to the armadillo's low body temperature. Researchers believe armadillos acquired Hansen's disease from 15th century explorers. Eight humans contract armadillo born Hansen's disease through hunting them or eating their meat. In some cases, people become infected from inhaling armadillo fecal spores. 6. Only two species are capable of rolling into a ball. A common myth is that. Armadillos curl up into tight balls and roll away. None actively choose to roll away from predators. The only armadillos able to curl into tight balls are two species belonging to the Tolipoutes genus. These are commonly known as the Brazilian and Southern three-banded armadillos. All other armadillo species have too many plates, making this level of flexibility impossible. 7. The giant armadillo is the largest giant armadillos. Priodents maximus, are the largest living armadillos, weighing 45 to 130 pounds in the wild. 9 In captivity, they've reached 176 pounds. They extend nearly 5.9 feet long, including their tail. Their 8 inch middle front claws are the longest claws of any mammal. Duckton lists the giant armadillo as a vulnerable species. 10 Their primary threats are hunting for meat and habitat loss. Additionally, poaching for the illegal pet trade further jeopardizes these giants. 8. The pink fairy is the smallest. The pink fairy armadillo, 
Chlamyphora struncatus, is named for its pink armor and size. 11 It measures between 4 and 6 inches in length and weighs about 3.5 ounces. In addition to the armor on their back, they have a vertical rump blade used to backfill burrows. Their species lives in the sandy plain and scrubby grasslands of central Argentina. Yakin lists these rarely seen armadillos as data deficient, but indicators suggest the species may qualify as near threatened. The species is primarily under threat due to habitat loss, while the animal's popularity on social media has led to an increasing number being captured for pets, a situation in which most of them die within eight days. 9. This one screams to warn off predators. The screaming hairy armadillo, Chertifractus villarosus, has more than armor as a defense. It has a pair of screeching lungs. Anytime this species perceives a threat, it emits extremely loud, alarm-like vocalizations. Hunters trap this species for its meat and carapace. Despite this harvest, it is a species of least concern across most of its range, covering portions of Bolivia, Paraguay, Chile, and Argentina. 10. Pitchy are the only species to hibernate armadillos spend most of their lives sleeping, but the pitchy, Zedius picky, takes it a step further by hibernating every winter. After building up fat stores and settling down in a burrow, the pitchy's body temperature drops from 95 degrees to 58 degrees Fahrenheit. 13 These armadillos also enter daily states of torpor, a type of mini hibernation. This species is found in the Patagonian steppe and pampas. 11. Some species are at risk for extinction while the nine banded armadillo population currently thrives, other species aren't as lucky. Yakn lists the Brazilian three banded and giant armadillo as vulnerable. The pitchy, southern long nosed, northern long nosed, southern three banded, and chaco and naked tailed armadillo species are listed as near threatened. Five additional species are data deficient and potentially endangered as well. Hunting and habitat loss are the primary threats to armadillos. Habitat loss drivers are mining and deforestation for palm oil plantations, cattle ranching, and other agro industry factors. The mining has increased due to the demand for copper to use in electronics. 12. Their shells are used to make musical instruments known as gerangos. These ten stringed instruments are an integral part of traditional Andean music in Bolivia, Chile, Ecuador, and Peru. While they were once commonly made from an armadillo's dried shell, contemporary charangos are generally made with wood or sometimes colobish gourds. Armadillo shells are also used to make carnival rattles called matrica. In 2015, it became illegal to own or sell new armadillo matrica. 13. They are good swimmers. Armadillos are good swimmers and can hold their breath for 4 6 minutes. 14 They walk underwater across the bottom of streams. When facing larger bodies of water, they gulp air to create buoyancy and then dog paddle. This ability to swim allowed them to expand their range. Armadillos crossing the Rio Grande led to the nine banded armadillo expanding across the United States during Armadillo, family Dasypodidae. Any of various armored mammals found mainly in tropical and subtropical regions of Central and South America. Most of the 20 species inhabit open areas, such as grasslands, but some also live in forests. All armadillos possess a set of plates called the carat.